Okay. Hi right, guys, Clockworks here. Um, we're doing World of Tanks. I've kind of hijacked Moonlight's channel because we're actually having a really good conversation. Um, he's still here. Yeah, hi. And we were watching a bunch of uh, different Let's Players and uh, we were talking about, you know, just different opinions on uh, various games and the conversation kind of carried over because I'm uh, frankly <coughs> there's only so much you can watch I mean I, I very much like to interact um, it's like I used to be really big on movies and now I'm, I'm big on a good movie that you have to pay attention to um, but we were talking about you know different things uh, different play styles and different uh, Let's players to to interject. Uh, that's why, not now, but later. A little bit of spoilers here. Clockworks and I have already decided in my mind, and I haven't cleared it with him, but he can deal. Uh, we are most definitely planning on doing live streams. Because, uh, well, anyway, carry on. Because frankly, we have the bandwidth for it, and yeah, he'll be fun. And we'll be recording him <laughs> on the channel too. So, uh, but. We're, I'm sitting in World of Tanks right now. Um, it's a game that I suck at, but still love to play. Um, I so only have like every one, game that I play. Ever. Yeah, I, I ha I'll have like one good round in like 200, and it just occurred to us to turn Camtasia on after I just had my good round. Exactly. So, so stay in tune for lots of dying. Yeah, that's what makes it good. Let's play. <laughs> but anyway, what uh, one of the things we were talking about was. Uh, you know, there's like, like um, he, he's, Moon Monk's really into Five Nights at Freddy's and everything, and I think it's technically a brilliant game. I mean, from a behind the scenes standpoint, I mean, whether it was done this way or not, I don't know, because I didn't do any research on it, but I mean, basically you set up your, uh, your uh, scenery, and sorry about the old school terms, but through a dice roller, in the back, and each time you switch to a new camera, rolls the dice, and it decides your fate. Which, if you guys watched ours, you'll know that we rolled ones every single time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> botch, 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 crap. <laughs> but now we're, uh, we were talking about, like, uh, the Slenderman games, and, uh, my opinion on it is, and again, just my opinion, um, it's a neat game thing, and all that good stuff, and uh, what, what was the word that you used? One trick pony. No, oh. no, the, that was the word I used. No, the word you used, uh, it's a different one each time. Uh, fuck. I say it was a different game, or a different uh, layout each Procedurally time. generated. Yeah, procedurally generated. That's That That, that was the buzzword that we're, we were getting hung up on. <coughs> and, uh... Plural. Yeah. Well, it, it, a buzzword. I mean, it's it's a hype generating mechanism. Right. And uh, hey, look. Defense. Uh, I hate having my small cannon on this tank. I just rebought this tank, and uh, it's artillery. Uh, now, let's see if we can't knock this great engine out. Dan is isn't as big of a fan of Five Nights as I am, and I'm mostly into it because. I I love Foxy. Uh, he's he's my favorite. And on top of that, I, I love the lore that's behind it, even if most of it is fan made. My big one, and it's a very unpopular opinion because a lot of people absolutely love this game. Goat Simulator. I've seen a couple things on that, and that one as well. I. It, it's not even randomly. It's not even a procedurally generated game. It's the same game over and over and over, and it. It goes off of its initial shock value, and yeah, when you play it the first time, it's like, oh my god, I'm glitching through the wall, and this is amazing, but then after like 30 minutes, you're like, okay, I'm good, I've seen it all. Mm -hmm. I mean, they have an MMO mode, and I need to try it out according to Sakori 5. I didn't, well, no, I haven't put that video up yet. Uh, I'll do this every single time I mention her, I'll put a little annotation for her channel. She's amazing. Uh, she's my sister. Uh, but I'm. Uh, I don't have the range. I'm out of position. Oh. <laughs> Yay! More victims. I'm not a big fan of it. And like you guys can like it, I'm perfectly all right with that. 
like what you like. But I'm not I'm not into it. Well, see, what I was what the point I was getting at um, earlier was like uh, procedurally generated. It's not procedurally generated. It's just that shit happens on the map in a different position. Right. It's still the exact same game. Uh, like, and we got into the question of what made Diablo so great. Um, it was the fact that, yes, the maps were procedurally generated, but that was actually a very small part of the gameplay. That, that They didn't sell the entire game on the fact that, hey, it's a different map each time. And it's like, yeah, that may be true, but it's still a uh, it's still the exact same game every single time right and and I understand that and, and I mean, I, there's, I, there's just no way around that fact it's the exact same game every single time it's just that shit happens in at different areas of the map mm -hmm. whereas in like Diablo to go back to our original uh, my original example you had it depended on what class you chose Oh, he's gone. <laughs> I don't have the range to get to anywhere else in the map, so I'm just going to sit here. But you had, depending on what class you chose, decided on whether you were you're procedurally you were generally dealing with the procedurally generated mobs via traps, ranged, melee. Could you get them in a choke point? And oh, him I can reach. And. Uh, <laughs> That wasn't me. Wow, that wasn't me. That was my shot. But um, and you had different bosses that required different things. And yes, yeah, some of the old platformer games, like uh, everybody that knows me knows I'm a huge fan of the Castlevania series. Mm -hmm. Well, of the early Castlevania series. I mean, come on, Alucard. Ooh, big twist. He's Dracula's son. No, it wasn't a big twist. Uh, <laughs> didn't need a mirror to figure that one out. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. But. Um, the, a lefty. Yeah. The the fact the fact that uh the procedurally generated thing has gotten so big it's led to very lazy gameplay. Right. Because I mean Slenderman, yeah, it's it's got some tense moments and this, that, and the other, and it has the atmosphere and this and the other. But it's still a dice roller deciding on whether or not you see him. Exactly. And there's the only the only thing that's randomized about Slenderman, by the way, guys, if you didn't know this is when he will show up and it, it is a dice roll if you think about it and if you were to track down there are very specific places where the pages could pop up um but the thing that i brought up and clockworks agrees with me on this is that one thing that i really love about let's plays is it's not exactly about the game it's about the reaction or seeing the different perspectives or how different people react to and play the game and, and and that's why I, I love it. Yeah, I granted, I'll give you that one. I like <clears throat> like uh Morning Wolf, she she really loves uh Markiplier's facial reactions. Thinks they are the best ones ever on the face. He has game. the best. He does have he has some pretty awesome we love love you, Markiplier. I unfortunately if, I've if had limited ever, exposure to your channel. If he's ever watching this yeah. ever. Uh <laughs> I have had limited exposure to your channel um, to mainly the horror stuff. Um, I don't think the Oculus one was fake on Dread, Dread Halls, by the way. Yeah. I, I, I can see where, where where it would be very, very disturbing. Intense. Yeah, stop, intense. Stop blaming Markiplier for Dread Halls 2016. <laughs> yeah. You know what I think the catch of Let's Plays are, to be honest with you? Hmm. There used to be a time back in mind and clockworks generation when we were a little bit younger where you would have all your friends over playing the nintendo playing the sega and you were all bullshitting laughing and making comments together and the point was to watch it and, and just make comments about the game and have right. a good time there have been a ton of pictures on various websites whether it be like iFunny or i have i has cheeseburger where when you look at the same group, you have kids around the same age, uh, 16, 17, 18 year olds. Instead of interacting together and there being commentary, they're all plugged into their phones, their, their pads, so they're individually, they're, they're segregated off. They're, right. There's no the, interaction. The thing that the newest episode, or the second newest episode of South Park brought up? Yeah. Ugh. 
Freaking and, and I think that was one of the key points. Jack of Panther. It. It's a matter of that listening to hurt. somebody either talk shit about a game or talk about the comical part of the game. Right. And it's kind of like listening to it with your friends. And one thing that I like about it is it sort of kind of brings together. It, it sort of kind of brings together a community because because a lot of people they. You know, I, I've made a lot of friends through Markiplier. I recently joined the, uh, for example, I recently joined the same server that they do Drunk Minecraft on, and I, I made a couple of friends there. Uh, you know who you are if you're watching. Uh, and and they're, they're all really awesome people, and it, watching Markiplier is what brought me into that community. Um, so I, I perfectly agree, and, and that's why I like doing the layout that we, we're talking a lot about Let's Players during this, but I'm, I'm okay with it. Uh, the layout that Game Grumps have, or that this channel even has sometimes, where you have multiple people sitting... We've got a layout? Kind of. We kind of <laughs> got two. <laughs> yeah, whatever we feel like put, putting up. That's, that's the yeah. layout. <laughs> um, setup? I don't know. What we're doing now is, is what I'm talking about, where we have multiple people in the same room talking and bullshitting around and doing all that good stuff. This, this episode started off kind of serious and discussion-y and all that, but usually we're bullshitting around and telling bad puns and jokes. and It degrades just, very quickly. Exactly. <laughs> and, and, and just Where am I at? having a good time with it. And, and Sorry, continue. There, there's something about being able to connect with people over games that I've, I've always loved. And, you know, it, it used to be that I wouldn't be able to do that all the time because I didn't have the money to buy a game or something like that. <laughs> That's why I love World of Tanks. You get drunk takers on here. Sorry, I've been drinking Jameson all day, so if I shoot you, please don't move. I'm just looking to get that. <laughs> Stop moving so much. I need to shoot you. you know, um, you're aiming at a tree. <laughs> you know, I think that was the, one of the saddest things I, I saw uh, evolve out. You had... Like uh, eventually, World of Warcraft, and, and before before they implemented implemented it into the game, you had it to where you could be over the mic and speak to the other players who were across the country playing your game with you. And they have it obviously in Halo and other other things like that. And I think that just you know, I guess this is a mom moment, but uh, like some of the negativity I think that comes across, I think it takes away from, the, well, the comedy that could right. be there. And, and I agree. Uh, you I know, smack talking is one thing, but I mean, if you're just going to be rude or, you know, and just, I mean, there's a difference between a funny yo mama joke and a you really need to be beaten to death in the streets with a baseball bat yo mama joke. Exactly. And, and that's, that's one thing I really appreciate from my subscribers so far is... I've noticed on Markiplier's channel that you occasionally get comments of he's a baby or some shit like that, but I've gotten a lot of positivity on my comment on my in my comment section, and I really appreciate that, guys. And I know that eventually I'm gonna get the comment of you suck. You know, I give a lot of credit to uh, a lot of the Lex players, whether it be the Markiplier or the Gamers. When you watch them. They're very comical, but they're also very positive. I mean, even yeah. if they talk about like some, and, and usually it's it's something that's very funny. But even if they talk about something that happened to them, um, they're very positive in the way that they bring themselves about. And I think there needs to be more of that, especially on on the internet and things like that. You get so much of the opposite. Mm -hmm. and, and, and that's what we try to do. Uh, haters go hate. Yeah, haters gonna hate, skater's gonna skate, potato's gonna potato. 